difficulty deciding a venue for your party or ever wondered which car to buy or which phone to buy? Well, I guess we have all faced these questions and then, in the hope of seeking an answer, we have burdened ourselves with tons of information. Interestingly, we have a law which explains our confusion in a rather simple way. A man with a watch knows what time it is. A man with two watches is never sure. That's exactly what Siegel's law states. It is a humorous way of addressing the pitfalls that come from amassing too much information before making a decision. In other words, the more information you have about a certain topic, greater is the likelihood of confusion creeping in and complicating the decision-making process. This law explaining the dilemma of confusion so simply, ironically, has a very confusing history. Supposedly, the saying was coined by the San Diego Union on September 20th. Later, this was mistakenly attributed to Lee Siegel of KIXL, Texas, then to be misquoted again in Arthur Bloch's book as Siegel's Law. I mean, what a roller coaster ride for a law simplifying confusion. So the burning question now is, does a man wearing one watch really know what time it is? According to some analysts, no. They believe that a man wearing one watch cannot be sure whether it is the correct time unless he can compare it to a known time standard. This situation is not worsened by wearing two watches since it simply increases your probability of knowing the correct time. Well, I think some analysts took this adage quite literally instead of grasping the symbolic message of the law. On the surface, it appears like it is promoting the practice of relying on information from a single source. The underlying message is to question and take a dig at these apparent certainties. Since a man with one watch has no way to identify an error and hence cannot be sure of the time, this law is layered with truths that are conflicting to one another. It does imply that sometimes the overload of information can cause a lot of confusion and at the same time it points out how frivolous certainty can be. A single or a limited source of information can save you from falling into a abyss of confusion but cannot be relied on completely. With so many conflicting opinions about the Siegel's law, what conclusion should we drive? Does it hinder our decision-making process or does it lead to making wrong decisions? It depends more on individual choices and their situations. Sometimes having just enough information might work, especially if it is a trivial matter. Let's understand Siegel's law with an example. Suppose you're planning on writing a research paper. It is a lengthy process with numerous steps involved and with each step you have a decision to make. Will you spend hours on deciding what pen to use or will you rather spend more time on the body of the paper? I believe the latter. In other words, ask yourself if the matter is trivial. And if the answer to the question is yes, then remind yourself of Siegel's law. It is important to understand Siegel's law in today's context. When it was first devised, people took it way too literally and missed out on the philosophical angle of the adage. It is relevant in the current times more than ever. With rampant use of internet in deciding almost everything today, Siegel's law can help us not to lose sight of our objective. One search on Google gives you a million possible options. This overload of information leads to confusion, which inevitably delays the decision-making process. Sometimes there is a paucity of time and too much information makes it impossible to come to a decision. Let us say you forgot about a presentation which is due tomorrow and now you have very little time to make it. In such cases, it's best to rely on one source of information and work from it. Sometimes an overload of information could also lead to a burnout and hinder your ability to work. Siegel's law is one way to avoid such burnouts. Some people believe that Siegel has it right. Too much information does not mean that it will be any more beneficial to making a good decision. Often, decisions are delayed waiting for details that are not even related to making that decision. On the contrary, there are people who believe in details and believe that in order to come to a simple decision, one must go through an intensive journey of research. Decisions made without due diligence could be uninformed and could even be wrong. The aspect of the law which hints at the uncertainty of seemingly certain things also makes you introspect about what decisions you make and simultaneously makes you question your reliance on various sources for information. Well, I guess it's completely a personal choice to believe in Siegel's law and to what extent as well. 
Some people might swear by it, while some could outrightly reject it, and some could use it sometime and reject it the others. For me, personally, the amalgamation of rejecting and accepting the law works the best. So, whenever you are at crossroads and find yourself drowning in a pool of information, remind yourself of Siegel's law. It could really go a long way and help you make an aware decision, especially when there is a paucity of time or you think that you are heading towards a burnout. That was all about Siegel's law. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel Explified. Check out our channel for more interesting content.